Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2 and John Coleman and I are here for our weekly vlog. And what should we talk about today, John? We're weekly. We're vlogging. We, that sounds kind of dirty, doesn't it? A weekly yeah. vlog. I don't know. At any rate, listen, Art. We have created Celebrating Act 2 for everybody over 50. Right. Second half of your life. Enjoy life. Explore life. It's a new... It's a new world. Things are different than they were before 50, right? Right. Especially no, since we're, because, let's, let's just re go back to the basis of what we came up with here, because people are living longer, healthier lives, as yep. longer than ever before, longer than our parents and grandparents, for the sure. most part. Sure. And people reaching into their 90s and, and even beyond. In That's a, where I was going to go. It's, and it's and vigorous our, our, our audience. Yep. You, the older you get, the the more different life is over 50. Right. Your 60s are like nothing you've had before. Your 70s are like nothing you've ever experienced before. Your 80s, so on and so forth. We know that's from talking to people, men and women of every age. Right. And what I find interesting is that the women that we have um, who are our regular guests, um, Michelle, Dr. Liz, uh, Debbie Weiss, and and the most recent interview we just did with uh, uh, Nancy Lang Gibbs, who was absolutely Lange terrific. Yeah. Thank you. Um, they're very focused. Women seem to be very easily focused on other women, uh, the sisterhood, if you will. Mm. But men don't seem to. Um, we don't seem to focus on other men in the same way. Where's the brotherhood? That's what I'm getting at. And what do what do older men really need? So, so, John, so John that, you raise a great question. And the truth of the matter is, forgetting about that, you know, you slow down a little bit and things like that, your joints hurt a little bit more uh, right. as most people get older. Um, I think the two of us are perfect examples of guys who just don't feel old. I haven't felt old yet. Uh, I, I'm but, not. I, I don't. I don't ignore the fact that I'm dealing with some stuff that I didn't have to deal with when I was younger. But the truth of the matter is that we're we're just loving. We're in our act two, and we're creating celebrating act two. We've got several other projects working, and quite frankly, uh, I feel as invigorated and and uh, forward thinking as I ever have. What about you, John? Uh, pretty much the same. I mean, I don't. I've never been very good at looking backwards, mm. <laughs> which means I never learned any good lessons from all those mistakes. I've Your made. car only had forward, never a reverse. <laughs> but uh, but you're right. I, I we're we're kind of uh, focused on having a good time, enjoying life, helping other people uh, enjoy life after fifty or wherever that older demarcation, whatever you want to call it, being a senior or something like that. Um, and I don't know too many men who have the same, um, the same focus that women ha seem to have on um, f fulfillment. What do they need to fulfill their lives? And now that their kids are grown and I, it, it seems to me men are, now maybe we just know guys who are real happy. <laughs> but it does seem to me that men don't have quite the same um, focus on getting older. We just get older and we enjoy it as much as we can. My well, guys, yeah, I know. It's kind of interesting that, uh, um, that you bring it up. Um, I have some friends who, some of them who passed, and as they got really ill, uh, uh, most of them didn't just clunk over. They had a period of two or three or five years of dealing with an illness. And so yeah. they were not, although I had one friend who recently passed uh, within the last year who was optimistic uh, to the end, uh, uh, and he did, did have an accident which, which uh, uh, brought about his demise uh, sooner. But uh, mo yeah, you're right. Most people that we know uh, uh, personally that we've talked about, even off air, 
uh, are people who are very optimistic. And I, but I have met people. I remember 10 or 15 years ago, uh, we went out, my wife and I went out to dinner with some friends and they were talking about their annuities and insurance and uh, they were old. They were, and they were in their, you know, 50s and 60s. Yeah. Uh, and I found that very, I, I didn't want to be around them a lot. Yeah. Uh, so it, I guess it's, it's a matter of attitude more than anything else. Maybe uh, okay. we're just in that group uh, with that attitude as opposed sure. to that there are plenty of people who, who feel old and they act old. Yeah, it, 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 it is interesting that you can um, act older than you are just mm. because, well, I don't know, your attitude, you're right. You're just, you've given up, oh, I'm old and I'm, I, I give in to my aches and pains. I give in to the fact that I can't, you know, run the mile anymore or whatever. I, wait, wait, John, could you, ever, those could you ever run the mile? Uh, I walked a mile once. Well, <laughs> Uh, did you break it up over a couple of days or? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, by, by the way, so uh, we have these, uh, uh, we were talking about our guests, Dr. Liz and uh, Debbie and Michelle, uh, uh, Nancy uh, Lang uh, Gibbs uh, just recently. Uh, yeah. And of course, we have Donna Lynn, uh, who uh, is an exercise guru. And right. they're, they're all forward thinking and they're all young in, in a wide span of uh, age groups. So, Perhaps um, uh, we've begun to answer our own question is that they don't, you know, they, they have their aches and pains too, but those are the kind of, maybe we're attracted to them because of their young outlook on life. And so sure. maybe that's just part of our mantra uh, that if you're uh, 50 and over, uh, our user manual for the second half of your life is being young and vibrant and forward thinking Mentally, yep. even though physically we may, you know, have some things that slow us down a bit. Sure, sure. And and we go out of our way to find people like uh, Donna Lynn Polito and, and uh, Dr. Liz and Michelle and Nancy Lang Gibbs uh, who, who exude that kind of attitude and can share some practical advice with uh, our viewers about enjoying life. At right. whatever age you are, yeah. And so, and, and one of the things actually um, uh, with um, uh, Debbie Weiss, uh, she's writing a book that'll be out in September. We'll talk about that in, uh, next month yeah. sometime, a couple of weeks before it comes out, available as is. But she's forward thinking as well, even yeah. though even though is she got into uh, our world by having a terrible tragedy of uh, uh, her. Uh, a husband of uh, of thirty some odd years passed yeah. away when he's fifty, and she found herself being a widow and having to start all over again. Yeah, and dating. Uh, start, start dating. looking for a good relationship. Yeah. Okay, okay so now, I don't know where we started with this whole thing, but uh, I'm glad I have a young partner. I was going to say we would be remiss if we did not mention because we're talking about attitude, uh, later life attitude. Mm. Um, we're both in our late seventies. And yet, you still have, you're still planning your 100th birthday party. Yeah, I'm actually getting close to, well, right now to the 22nd prequel to that, to that event. Uh, and I have my, my sister is in charge of planning that. <laughs> I love it. A prequel to your 100th birthday party. That's the real 22nd, 22nd. Be, let's get precise. The 22nd prequel. Now, next year will be the 21st prequel. Right, that's a countdown. Just okay. like you know, uh, 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 well, I guess it's Ryan Seacrest now does the New Year's Eve stuff. Uh, now that uh, the other guy passed, Dick Clark. Dick Clark. Yeah. So anyway, so yes, yeah, so stay young with us. Come on back. Tell us your young stories, and uh, let's keep sharing them, and just keep uh, moving. Keep grooving. having fun. Yep. Keep having fun. And uh, I, th I think Bill Jordan has the the best. Um, what do you call it? A shibboleth, a a motto. Uh, it's uh, forget your age, enjoy your life, and embrace the boom. For those of us baby boomers, you don't have you're to here. be a baby boomer to embrace the boom. I don't think. Right. Yeah. So anyway, everybody, have a good time, enjoy life. Don't look backwards. Look forwards. 
and enjoy. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.